and this is uh, my work so far with Wigan, wherever they are. Right. Uh, I'll do this very briefly, but just to bring you up to date. This I'm a bit ahead. I was actually going to do this presentation next month. I'm still waiting for information to come in, but I thought you guys at the moment could uh, use some of the stuff I'm going to tell you and run with it. Uh, this is specific to Wigan, whoever they are, and uh, so you guys in outline areas, you know, just, just aware that they may not be relevant to your district council. But it shows you if you start scratching the surface and asking questions and understanding, not in any great depth, what, what, you, what, what you're looking for, uh, you can... I'm just saying, do, do you know about the Lancashire County Council? We went, uh, they went out of business about four years ago, and now yeah. they're... Yeah, Flutters. Flutters, okay. Yeah, it's on the Teapot website. You'll know that your yeah, Lancashire County Council is run by uh, Rose and Two's Credit Union and they also Police Pensions. Yeah, council tax, as far as we're still aware, uh, still gets confirmed, gets paid to your council, and it gets put to Lancashire County Council. And the police, the apparently don't collect taxes, uh, they collect uh, the tax money. Uh, benefit the council, a uh, local local taxation, I still call it council tax. Anyway, so there's uh, a wee bit of work there. This is based upon uh, my good lady. Okay. Uh, so essentially, what's happened is it won't come from me. Uh, for those of you who know me, uh, I'll do another talk afterwards about how I present myself to order. I'm an actual man. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to accept full liability as an actual man uh, because of an issue with identity for myself and everything in this room, I presume. Uh, regarding to say prove who you are, you can't prove who you are. First, if you've no evidence of identity. Uh, and everything, everything that's uh, identifying you is based upon hearsay and presumption. Trust me, stop and dead with that. Absolutely dead. Because if you say I'm, I am that person, you accept the full liability, it's all based upon presumption. Uh, so I stopped doing the bit a year and a half ago, presuming anything. I presume nothing now. Uh, where I'm knowledgeable about, I accept and I presume nothing I ask. And uh, for example, the identity, I do accept full liability. So if, 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 if somebody from uh, the lecture officer wrote me this very love a letter last year threatening me uh, if I didn't uh, identify where some legal person was living, so I'll back and say is that essentially uh, that the, 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 so the, I, the human idea. takes priority over the legal. You're not obliged under universal dedication of human rights to be the legal person. You have a right to be the legal person, there's no obligation on it, and that's the mother document, okay? Same with the Constitution, the Constitution says the same thing. So I wrote back and says, I, I, I'm not prepared to take care full liability for something I don't understand, and I can't prove I am. So therefore, you're the guys that threaten me, so obviously you know more about it than I am, so you can, can, you, can you prove to me I am that person? And uh, if not, I'm happy to sign as long as you accept liability. Silence. Okay? So that's the approach I've taken. You guys do your own thing, but uh, the elements of a contract, which I was meant to go over, so I'll run over that as well. Uh, the elements of the contract, one of them is certainty of object. So uh, legal legal capability, legal identity, it must be certain. If there's, if there's this uncertainty with legal identity, you can't contract. And you can actually nullify a contract if there's uncertainty of legal identity. Same with a, same with a trust. One of, the, one of the, the tests for a trust is a certainty of object. That's a huge one. We can have really, really have fun with that one because that goes right back to basic human rights. Okay, uh, you're not the legal person first, the human second. You are the human first, and from that derives your right to be a legal person, no obligation. So anyway, so they threatened my good lady. Uh, first of all, they threatened the number of trust had set up, uh, which is similar names to my good lady, and uh, just to go back to them using the F word, you know, fuck off. Uh, it's a private trust, no, I'm not talking to you. Pro prove a claim or just go away, we'll come for you if you don't. So then the, uh, the, uh, uh, they, my, they sent through the, the legal fiction name of my good lady. So that points just to the response. We wrote back a number of letters and um, I don't want to get through all these in any great detail with you. But so they, they've now said they've got a claim against my good lady. At that point, my good lady uh, appointed me as a special attorney. In fact, they don't like that, by the way. Look up. Look up a dictionary of the word power. That's a very, very important word. You need to understand what it is. Governments now no longer hold office to take power. Why is that? It's 
where it's a very important one to know. So we're getting these, start to get these, these threatening letters, you know, if you don't pay within seven days, you have the full right to lose the balance, and if you don't, you receive a summons from magistrate's court, it's like, ooh, right. Uh, no problem. No Does anyone see a huge glaring problem with that letter? From a chap called Anthony Mohammed, head of customer, sorry, head of citizen support. No, sir. Wait, your counsel, your signature. It's simply a forged one. Why? Got a barcode. That's what paid. I can sign back and print barcodes off. It's, it was I can't sign though. I can't sign for them. No, I can, I can, I can print that letter off and send it. No, sir. How do I know it's not just some some scam merchant? It's trying to scam me. Uh, other, the other one is, does it say council tax office near anywhere? What is head of citizen support? What is the citizen support services? Who's presumption there, isn't it? Citizen. When did they become a citizen? Who's a citizen? What is a citizen? Citizen of what? Clarify who you're talking to, who you're talking to. Uh, clarify the arrangement between us. Clarify if there's any deeds, if there's any trusts, if there's any uh, contracts, agreements, or other binding instruments between yourself and my principal. Questions in here. Uh, the principal is the person instructs and you answer to. Uh, so the uh, uh, my, my, my good lady's my principal. So right on her behalf, I says uh, please please provide copies of evidence of some some sort of binding obligation between. So. Uh, there's a kind of letter I saying, so uh, it's very funny, the back of the, uh, the letters it says on it, Wigan Confident Place, Confident People, it's a new, it's a new sort of buzz logo, Confident Place, Confident People, yeah, we are fucking confident, we've just met one. <laughs> right, so I finished my letters off going, yeah, Wigan Confident Place, Confident Person, right. Uh, they've actually got Confident Place, Confident, they've got different committees set up, Confident Place, Confident Business, Confident Place, Confident Sums, Confidence strips it. Bullshit, old corporate bullshit. They're stroke each other's ego, forgetting as actually human beings at the end of these letters. These are just purely for numbers, you know. So uh, my main uh, role, my main, my main objective with this was to uh, remind them that this isn't just a cost setting that you're driving to. This is actually a, a woman. It's actually a real living woman. It gets hard, it feels fear. You know, it doesn't like to be threatened. So uh, drafting them a, a list of, uh, I think there was 18, 17, 17 questions I wanted them to answer, uh, which I'm happy to share with anyone. Uh, for the sake of time, I won't go through them. But uh, one of the one of the questions at the end was, uh, who are you? Uh, who is Wigan Council? That's a big one. Who is Wigan Council? Where's your authority come from? That's a question I ask all the time. Who are you? Where's your authority? Where's your authority come from? Uh, so I mean, there's 17 questions there, reasonable questions. You know, it's a, a conditional, it's a, it's a, a conditional notice of acceptance of offer. First letter was sent back on um, behalf of the, of, of the principal. Notice subject to strictest privacy protections. I'll explain that one. Uh, and something started doing in this, these letters was uh, this notice does not present an unconditional acceptance of your claim. This notice does not provide automatic acceptance of any jurisdiction offered by you or your employer. As, all words, grammar, syntax, terms and phrases using this notice are subject to the typical limitations of the English language and grammar and may, despite our best efforts, our lucky state is no word hour now, you're presenting her, yeah, so it's me representing us with our, uh, our best efforts, be subject to innocent or deliberate interpretation slash misinterpretation. Do not presume or assume any definitions of syntax where such ambiguity presents itself. If in doubt, you may seek clarification by writing politely to the trust at the above postal address, I will do likewise now for the private trust. <coughs> okay? So, uh, sorry, this was to the private trust, the road to the private trust. So that's the letters I go back, not for back to the private trust, right? Uh, so, uh, I pick up, and then we've got this next letter, uh, and it's got Wigan Council, uh, again, confident place, confident people, bullshit, building a future together. Yeah, who did people think they are? Uh, and uh, again, no signature. But this was assistant council tax manager. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a bit, who's, who's she now? They've brought in this, this council tax manager. So is that a different department, a different office? So I'm following two different trails now, isn't it? It's two different trails. So that's what started doing a bit of digging around. And the Wigan Council have no idea what I've got you. Right, uh, I've been starting to dig around the Wigan Council. Now, if you go to a, a very interesting website, you can go into amongst others. It's called Dun and Bradstreet. I take it most of you have heard of that, yeah. 
uh, don't use the UK when it's been corrupted, right? UK, they lie here, right? Uh, America, they're a bit more open because we've got better laws there, actually more respect for the, the peasants at home. Uh, they're called, they are proper citizens, we're just peasants. Uh, and if you go to dunandnb.com, the American one, right, and type in the name of a company or an organisation, whatever you're interested in, you can uh, you can get fairly cheap reports off of there, for expensive ones as well, being a fairly cheap reports over there. And that's what we found out about uh, my Lancashire County Crown, so it's done in Bradstreet. The UK won't, won't tell you, they won't tell you anything here, it's all been covered up. Uh, there's a huge uh, scam going on. So uh, I went on there and I found out that uh, in 1972, they repealed the old council, Wigan, whatever they back then, Wigan Borough Council. That was an old, old council in the UK, 1972, where the local authority tax 72 were completely annulled, right? And they, re they recreated them all into all uh, uh, district councils. In Wigan's case, it became Wigan District Council, right? That's a pure legal entity. Fantastic, we know what that is. And then they applied for a royal charter, okay? And uh, they don't like, they probably like even mention this one, but they applied for a Royal Charter. And that Royal Charter allowed for them to call themselves, uh, use the word borough in their title. And uh, I've written a number of letters to Privy Council. Uh, the title is transferable. Uh, as long as it's the same organisation, they can just imagine they can transfer that title as long as it's the same organisation. You can't transfer it to another organisation, it has to be the organisation. So just think of any business, you can't just, you know, call another company calling themselves as you are, that's fraud, that's out of fraud, yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, the Royal Charter is granted by the Queen, allegedly, under authority by the Privy Council, for a very interesting outfit to look up, by the way. Uh, the Royal Charter established that they could call themselves Borough Council. Borough is quite interesting for a number of points of view, because you can collect taxes on behalf of the Queen, you get special privilege. Uh, if you get a Royal Charter, you, you, get, you get special privilege in a court. Remember what's crap about quality in law? You remember reading about that? Quality in law? If you've got a real charter, you get special privilege in court. Anyway, uh, so at that point, they became, they, they rebranded themselves Wigan, Bur uh, Wigan Borough Council. So they went from Wigan District Council to Wigan Borough Council. Great! No, no, we can deal with that when we are. And then they created this thing, Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council. And they started cozying up to Bloody Manchester. and doing these deals and none of us had any say in, none of us had any deal with this. I was sitting in smoky little rooms, you know, doing, well, not smoking rooms now actually, uh, doing these dodgy deals and handshakes behind the scenes and how can we sell these peasants out and we'll herd the cattle into that corral and we'll join the two corrals together. We have no say in that, we have no say in the uh, Anyway, uh, so they created the Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council. Uh, fine, okay. We sort of know who they are. Uh, they can use the borough title because I've been told it's the same. It's the same body. I actually phoned the head of legal services and asked them the question: What's the relationship between Wigan Council? So then they became Wigan Council. So they rebranded themselves and they call themselves Wigan Council. And they used to have this box with a W on it. They probably paid thousands of pounds for some crafty design. And now they're using a green love heart. Wigan Council, a little green love heart. Isn't that cute? It seems like they're giving you a kick and taking your wages off, you take your house off, you send you green off yeah, Lovely. Uh, so anyway, so they, they decided to rebadge and uh, decided to call themselves Wigan Council. I said, why did they change, why did they bother changing their name? Well, some people, it was too long for them. You know. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, okay, too long for them, right? Why did you then change the logo? Oh yeah, no, we just decided to rebadge it, you know, go all green and green, right, okay. Are you the same company? Yeah, 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 we're, we're, we're the committee meeting and it's the same company, blah, blah, Now I've got more information coming in on this. So at this point, I will back off making a definitive statement here, right? But uh, my strong understanding at this point in time is Wigan Council is not Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council rebadged. But despite what they tell you, it is a separate organisation. I'm getting, so Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council, if you go to a website called uh, uh, Revenues, Valuation Tribunal. Tribunal. Valuation Tribunal. Valuation Tribunal. If you want to speak your council tax, which I don't want to do because it's not my council tax, if you decide to go ahead and go down that route of playing game with them, and you know, uh, it's a it's a it's a an independent quango that deals with these council tax disputes. On their website, if you look at it, it's got a little drop-down box where it says search for your billing billing authority. 
So you put your wigging in there, wherever you come from, and they will come up and it tells you your billing authority is right. Be aware your council doesn't collect council tax. The billing authority collects council tax. If you read the, the council tax enforcement and administration regs, uh, this is what they throw at you with summons. This is what they cite in the summons, amongst other things. It's the billing authority. Okay. Now, when did they change their borough collecting taxes to a billing authority? Why did they change that? Why did does that replace some big that's happened? Well, actually, the billing authorities, who's giving the authority now? Right, I'm, I'm still waiting for an answer to that one. Anyway, so uh, I come up with the billing authority for this area, apparently, according to the Valuation Tribunal, we should know what they're talking about because they're the ones that resolve the disputes. They should know what they're talking about, right? It's Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council as a billing authority and not Wigan Council. <coughs> okay, so. That makes it very interesting because could that be that they're collecting money when they're not authorised to do so? Are they convening courts? They send out summons? They do all this shit stopping people's wages and <coughs> taking possessions <coughs> off them and one thing or another when they haven't got the authority to do so? Have we spotted Wigan has made a cock up? Whereas other councils have changed hands and you know tidied up the books and made sure they've cut Wigan's got really complacent and actually cocked up and exposed what's happening behind the scenes. I don't know if information to come in on that one, but uh, I am firmly of the opinion, yes, it is at this stage, so and so like to quote on that basis. Right? Uh, and that's when it gets, that's when it gets becomes fun. Uh, so anyway, so I wrote back to, I don't write to this, whoever these people are now, because I have no idea who they are, what they are, right? So what they do is, they start, they, people are appreciative, they deal with these the councils, you deal with different persons each letter. Every letter comes from someone else. What they do is, they get you chasing the circles, and so nobody's getting responsibility, and you're chasing shadows. So you can't say it was you, no, oh, it was him, it was him, it was him. So they do it deliberately. Don't do that. Right to see you. They work for her, him, Wigan. It's, it's now Don Hall, Wigan. Uh, I'm not quite sure. He's the Shane King, he's the she. Uh, very interesting. We'll look in the background too. I'm Capita. Uh, I'm Capita. Uh, again, I'll be very careful what I say here. I'll only do one by his press reports. Who have reported that in Field and Weir Council, she was successful in uh, negotiating long term contracts for them to run the back. Backroom services of uh, Field and Weir, and I believe it was Barry Council. Uh, she's obviously got a history. I'm on camera, so I'm very careful to say. Yeah. Uh, so she's a, a, a very interesting lady to look into. And uh, just on this, an aside, nothing to do with that at all, right? Uh, have any of you heard that book, ever read that book, The Economic Hitman? Where the guy walks into the country and he smashes everyone out of the way first and paves the way for a corporate takeover. Of public services, have you read that book? Yeah. yeah. But I just thought I'd mention that, nothing to do with the camera. Yeah, just thought, just just thought I'd mention that to you guys. You know, it's a really good book, and if you can get hold of it, it's, it's a very interesting book. It shows okay. the way the world works, isn't it? So it absolutely does, yeah. So what it does, they come in and take over public services as a as, as, as economic <coughs> thing. Anyway, obviously, that's no connection to the talk here, it's a little aside. Right, so uh, then we get final notices and the usual bullshit, you know. So they've got, they actually they, they wrote to my wife's, sorry, my. Good ladies, may not be my wife, but good ladies, uh, uh, alleged legal fiction. So I say alleged legal fiction because she's allegedly married to me, and the, the documents used for the civil ceremony are based upon my birth certificates. And I've already not accepted that as the name of identity, so she can't prove her surname is, <laughs> so she can use that word allegedly, judge. Okay, uh, and if anyone wants to challenge that, I'll happily take you to court for it. So I'll put the onus on the person takes me to court to prove that she is that surname. Okay. Anyway, so again, so it's all down to presumption. So we've got all these letters, notices of default. I sent through more letters. Basically, just uh, you stand in dishonour. You know, I need this. I need your, I can't. I, I, I have no proof of claim. I've no proof of who you are. All I've got, all the claim I have at the moment is, give us your money. That is literally all I've got. Don't know who they are. Don't know what the proof is. Nothing, just give us your money. Uh, so I just want to clarify, who are you? What is your authority? How do you, I need a breakdown of this. Obviously we've got, we've got certain principles and one of us, we don't, we don't fund war. So please deduct that from whatever this is. Uh, we, we will not fund incompetence. Uh, so if we can council lost money through incompetence, we're not funding that. If you're asking me to fund your stupidity and incompetence, that, put, that places the principal in a position of a serf, because the definition of a serf is someone who serves the debts of his master. Did you know that? That's the definition of a serf, right? Definition of a slave by who is someone who cannot contract. And that's got implications as well here. 
So uh, anyway, so uh, these questions are put to him. But they say he's looking for some sort of grounding based upon these threats and allegations that's getting placed against them from the principal. So uh, nothing. Give us your money. That's essentially it seems to be the, the, the essence of it. And then we get this thing called a council tax bill. Right. Uh, billing authority bill. They're no one calling it demanding. <coughs> right. They're now, because the billing authority is not one bill now. It's a billing authority, right? And uh, uh, Wigan Council, billing a, a council tax bill from Wigan Council, not Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I think there may be some fraud taking place here. So at that point, I thought I'm not going to go to the police at the moment. This is too tasty to waste at this point. Or they'll get more information and go in there and go in with a blunderbuss rather than like a cap gun. Uh, so anyway, so uh, 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 the billing authority, uh, uh, this, sorry, this, this, this came in here, and it says council tax bill, Wigan Council, Citizen Support Services. Oh, what is this Citizen Support Services? Started digging around. It's a contract to the department. Right. My understanding is it's Capita that's running it. You ask them, who are you? And they'll go, oh, we, we read the council. We work for the council. Yeah, I didn't ask you what for. Who are you? What's the name of your talking wage slip? I'm not obliged to tell you that. Well, I, I don't know who I'm talking to. I've got somebody threatening me with no signatures, nothing. That's, I, 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 can, I can produce it in my back bedroom. Somebody demand the money of me, I don't want to, I need to know, good one, if this is going to terrorist causes. Is it a matter of my funding terrorism here, am I funding criminal ventures? Because I don't want to implicate in this. Use that by the way. Fact. Because uh, you'll be implementing, implementing the crime, which is why I can justify asking all these questions. I want to make sure the principal is not going to be implicated in some sort of crime. <coughs> so, uh, uh, so we've got that. Usual crap, you know. So at that point, uh, we formally created the uh, appointment of special power of attorney. Now, on the Freedom Northwest Freedom Dash Northwest website, uh, uh, I've, I've, on the file section, and some of you have been on there, I've noticed I've put a lot of files on there. Please browse through them, this is good stuff. Uh, but this is special power of attorney. Powers of attorney Act 1971 uh, provides the, the, for the, 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 the template for it. A general power of attorney, right? They don't want you to know about a special power of attorney. Trust me, guys. Get the dictionary looking into yourselves. They do not want us knowing about this. Screws up the screws up the jurisdictions. Special power of attorney. Okay, so what you do is you create a special attorney in fact, as opposed to an attorney in at law. An attorney at law, to answer one of the question, is someone who has legal standing and a legal presence and is allowed to represent. Uh, 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 an illegal sphere and potentially a member of some, some governing body was a special attorney in fact has no legal representation, no formal legal representation but they are sufficiently knowledgeable to be able to speak on behalf of someone else for a special, special limited matter it could be limited by deed, by the deed, what you're doing it could be limited by what you can sign for, the value, the duration <coughs> but something limits it, a general power is everything you're basically taking over you know, uh, control of everything. Uh, so that special power of attorney is really interesting. Uh, okay, uh, if you go into court, you're the only one in that court probably who isn't an attorney. Especially you, you're not you, you're not appointed as a special power of attorney because if you have, if you get a solicitor, it's a special attorney in law. The judge, he'll be special attorney. The law, you're the only one that's not there. If you go into court, by the way, the only bugger that's carrying through limited liability. He will limit the liability by using stuff like that. So you start using yeah. it well. What about, please, what about McKenzie friend? Does that mean they're attorney in fact? No, 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 no. McKenzie yeah. friends are courtesy of the court, right? That's not it. This is, right, they're, they're claiming some sort of authority over me. I'm pushing this now, right? Because I know, right? Okay? Uh, this is created under deed. This is a deed document. What did you say a deed was? <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Deeds equity, right? Deed is a living instrument, it's equity, right? As opposed to just a, 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 a number of different documents you could use. But a deed, me, this, this is bulletproof, this is what they, this is what trust is, this is trust stuff, you know. Power of attorney, behind, behind trust is power of attorney, by the way, right? Uh, so this is a deed document. They're claiming to have some sort of power over the principal, aren't they? Right? Where is it? Because I've got a fucking deed <coughs> written, signed, sealed, certified. What have you got? Right? Yeah. Nothing so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Certified well, copy, witness, all the rest of it. 
doesn't need to see what when the signature is sufficient or not. Uh, so far, they've had nothing to come back with. So, so far, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the only one that's authorised to even talk with council ties on behalf of the principal. Nobody else is. So, councils and private companies and whatever. Nobody else. I'm, I'm, I've got the highest authority to talk about it. So, that's why. Uh, like, anyway, so that's an interesting one because what you're doing is you're screwing up jurisdictions and you're screwing up natural legal persons. Remember, you're going to administrative hearings here and they like their nice little black and white administrative procedures, right? Well, they don't want you to go in there and start muddying it by bringing in different jurisdictions and introducing a natural person. Uh, I've finished this showing the letter I got back from the, uh, the court, which is really interesting. So anyway, my missus, she's uh, retired, she doesn't let go. She lived under the Soviet regime. She's seen this type of thing. The state was just do this or else. You know, but okay, you've got the gulags if you don't. Unfortunately for them, we don't live in the Soviet Union, right? Uh, we live in Britain where we've got freedoms. One of those freedoms is if somebody says you owe your money, prove it. Right? So next time we're getting, we're getting letters with uh, 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 colour on them at this point. So they're taking this, this we know you're getting, they're taking you specially, you know, uh, giving you special attention. You start getting real original letters with original wet signatures on them. First one I've seen. Right? He's actually signed something. Uh, I'm replying to you personally, as I do not have an address for the person who sent a letter to me. He's refusing to accept me as power of attorney, special power of attorney. They know this is, this is painful for them, they can't do it. This, can, this is problematic for them. Uh, stating their special powers of attorney, having looked into your council tax account, I can confirm the following information. Basically, you owe us money, give us it, we're going to come and help you. This is essentially what saying, you know. But interestingly, he's not responding to me, even though it's been clearly defined in other letters. This is who you reply to, right? So uh, he's also taken uh, legal advice and that. I went, oh shit, we can't talk to people. We, oh my god, we lose all, all, we lose all control if we start speaking to these guys, the special powers of attorney, because he's a human being, he's a natural man. Uh, then on the, we then got the uh, summons, right? <coughs> and interestingly, the accompanying letter from Wigan Council, again claiming to, claim to be the guys in council tax, even though they're not the safety billing authority. Uh, talks about, please ring a customer services team. How many people know what a customer is? Does it define you get a choice? Do you choose to be a customer? Customer services team. If you actually go into their enforcement, which Darren called it, it showed me yesterday, uh, I'd missed it on the website. Uh, the Wigan Council stuff's some mails out today. It's something big happened with the Wigan Council, which is not for the camera. Uh, uh, I've I've got quite a lot of information on them and uh, some big happened behind the scenes there and they haven't renewed any of their documentation uh, in the other two years now, I wonder why. Anyway, uh, but they, they talk about customer services team, what the hell, I'm a customer now, so again, letters back, I'm a customer now, so if I'm a customer, no, I don't want your services, it's as simple as that, or the principal doesn't, doesn't require your services, simple as that, or give us a list of your services, we'll choose the ones we want. Because you've got a monopoly position in some cases with like waste disposal. Uh, but ignore this. So, another more letters. More letters. You will receive a summons from the magistrate's court. Yeah, okay, blah, 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 blah. You'll have to pay 65 quid costs. Yeah, you're arse. Human rights. You're best there because human rights says you can't do that. As you're quite aware of. And the Bill of Rights says you can't do it either. Uh, so, I wrote back to them basically giving a warning notice of the right to the private trust again. MRS I Austin, if they to the private trust MRS I Austin again, I'll tell the, the trust, me as administrator of the trust, I'll sue the tits off and I'll take them to court and I'll have them because they're now harassing the private trust. Uh, so we got them confused between the MRS I Austin, the private trust, and the name, full name of my, my good lady. Uh, anyway, so we next received uh, summons, and the summons is in here somewhere, and this one gets really fun. Right? So I messed about these cretins in the council, these yeah, super silly little jumped up pricks, right? They think there's something in nobody. They think they've got some authority over me. They don't. They think they've got some authority over my good lady. They don't. Right? Things are changing in this country, right? It's not where it used to be. They don't have that authority anymore. Only big guys with sticks come in and beat you and take your house off you and stop your wages and, and basically just act as a, as a, as a scam. It's gangsters. This is pure utter gangsterism, right? Uh, they don't like ask, ask, answering questions about the law. And I'm speaking to people in the country, and there's some people in here involved in, I think you're in one of the, the rooms. Chat room here. Yeah, yeah uh, there's a lot of work happening in the country, and uh, they're frightened. There's a, there's, we've now, we now understand the scam that's going on, guys. 
I don't understand the scam that's going on, and I know I'm having fun with it now. And uh, so I've been always received this uh, summons. Working and Lee Magistrates Court. Okay. That's okay. Do you see do we see something missing from that? So Magistrates Court, do you see something missing from it? No crown. That, that, that. Some guy in Nigeria printed that and sent it as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Fuck that, it was just not a <laughs> summons, you know. Anyway, no offence to Nigerians, whatever. Uh, anyway, so uh, it's summons for non-payment of council tax. We've never refused to pay. We've argued that, that, that we've said we'll take some of your services, but we're arguing the amount because we don't, we, we don't, you don't know what you're asking for. We want some accounting for that amount you're asking for. You're asking for a lot of money here. I want some accounting from it on behalf of the principal so we can make sure that we're getting equal consideration and also we're, uh, we're, not, we're not contributing to criminal or, or terrorist enterprises here. We don't know. You can't just give us that amount of money. For, for what? What are we paying you for, you guys? You know? So uh, I know some little kid in some country or, or whatever get his legs blown off because of the, 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 the money we're paying them. Well, I'm not interested in that, guys. So anyway, uh, Regulation 34 of the Council Tax Administration and Enforcement Regulations. That's a beautiful one, that, right? If you actually read it, it says, a just of the peace, which can also be Justice Clark, which can also later become an Assistant Justice Clark, which is, I've asked that question in there. Uh, you need to know that for challenging council tax. You need to know that one, right? Uh, states that they can receive a complaint from the billing authority, not a council, a billing authority uh, for the uh, for for a uh, non-payment of council tax. States that non-payment of council tax, right? And a summons will be issued. How they've got around it is, it says a summons will be issued. It doesn't actually say who will issue a summons. So the clever little wordsmiths out there went, oh, great, we can take advantage of this little missing, badly worded sentence here, because it should say the court will issue the summons. It doesn't say that. So I, I read this and I went, well, I wonder who issued the summons, as if I didn't know. So I phoned up the council and I spoke to some delightful ladies. <coughs> right? uh, some poor buggers married to them. Uh, anyway, so uh, some, some delightful ladies who had done the damnedest to say we don't know and to bamboozle me and unfortunately for them I've recorded the conversations. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, and it was admitted to me, they issued that document straight from council buildings. I was right, so you're saying you work for the council, yes, okay. Uh, they're actually citizen support services again, right? So anyway, so it's not the council tax anymore. The council tax department's called Citizen Support Services, and they're saying you make all inquiries should be made to Wigan Council Citizen Support Services. Why not the court? That's a court document. Why, why, why the inquiries not going to the court? The court. Why am I asking inquiry to the Wigan, whoever Citizen Support Services are? There's a story why it's called Citizen Support Services due to a test case last year where the, the, the authorities of a, a council, a local authority, was defined in a, a court hearing last year due to a disabled guy. And said that the court's uh, authority, as far as I'm aware, now is to investigate, enforce, and something else, or to support. That's why they call themselves citizen support. Well, service. Well, you refer to as a customer as opposed to a citizen. Yeah. So now you're back. You're a citizen again, as opposed yeah, to. Yeah. So I'm a citizen. Well, not me, but the principal. Yeah, exactly. So that was one of the questions I've asked. What are we, citizen? Fucking citizen support services. Yeah. Well, you're not a citizen. You're a customer. 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 What the principle is, what is your interpretation of what she is, that defines our relationship. And the fact that giving two different names to her, that tells me quite clearly. They don't know the relationship is, there's no clear relationship there. Is that not the best evidence there is? You know, the, 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 the relationship is, you know, I'm waking up as we go along. So anyway, as I say, so the woman, so I say to the woman, that's fine, okay, so that's issued from the from, from Wigan Council offices, directly to me, uh, directed to the principal. Yeah, okay, fine, okay. That's his right, who signed it? That's a uh, computer generated. I mean, she's on the right. She goes, yeah, we keep her stamp in our offices. <laughs> They've got a stamp with his signature. Is that a signature? Jesus. Forgery. Okay. Uh, so, I have a counterfeiting forgery, you call it's it on your own. Black and white. Okay. So, uh, die then went. Okay, he's a Justice Clark. So I went into the court, and who is that signature? Oh yeah, that's uh, Mr. Brian Hartley. Hey, Brian. Uh, that's Mr. Brian Hartley, a lovely guy. Oh, sure. I didn't see that. Uh, he's a, a lovely guy, right? So I went into the court, uh, into the Wigan Magistrates Court, and the, 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 the lady at the desk who actually doesn't know much. 
you know, went to the court desk first. No, no, not do it first. That's them over there. <laughs> Keep away from us. And they just, as soon as you mention council tax, the county court side. No, 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 no. Them, they know there's something about to go within the court. That this old scam is about to blow up. MPs are aware of it. Lords are aware of it. The people in the court system are aware of it. This is about to blow and they're all back together on the hell now. And leaving a few dickheads standing out there exposed to it. Uh, uh, when it does, when it does, when it does go with this one. So the county court went, no, 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 Okay, so the girl, uh, the girl confirmed who it was. I said, what's his title? Well, he's a justice of the peace. Really? He says he's a justice clerk there. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant, justice clerk. No, what is he, a justice of the peace or justice clerk? He's put stamped here, justice clerk. Oh, justice clerk, because he's right, okay. So he signed that then. He actually signed that. But, so he went to Wigan Council offices and signed that. So why did they not put a wet signature on it? Why is why, why is used a digital image? Oh no, he's somebody in the council was authorised to sign it on his behalf. Yeah. Right, okay. So then I phoned up the council. I said, I said to the council, so you're authorised to start this forum? Yes, we are. <coughs> right, well, what's the name of the person? I'll, I'll, I'll phone back to the council. Yeah. So you've got somebody in the council actually stamping his on his behalf then? Right, okay, yes, 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 yes. Right, okay. So what's their job title? Well, you know, you need to, you need to speak to the court. What am I asking? So at that point, I went, Something, something is not right here. Something's not right here. An assistant justice clerk can sign on behalf of a justice clerk with his authorisation. Okay. So, but because it's under his authorisation, it means it's under his bond as well. You understand what a bond is? Professional insurance, professional indemnity. Okay. So your bond is what covers you professionally, insurance-wise. So if an assistant justice clerk signs it, he's signed under the insurance policy of the, the bond of the justice clerk. Fine. Okay. So uh, I was like, great, well, can you give me the name of the person? I said, have done that then? Because I, if I want to question, there's some serious irregularities in this document here. So nobody's answered me, nobody wants to write to me, uh, don't you know? So I went to Wigan Magistrates Court with my friend Dave here as witness, and I went to the Wigan Magistrates the counter with this doc, this very document, and uh, still, still covered in tears with laughter. Uh, and uh, I says, I'd like to speak to Mr. Brian Hartley, uh, Justice's Peace, Justice's Clark, whatever he is, you know. Uh, could you, and so, anyway, this dog had disappeared in the back, and this uh, really pleasant, mild mannered, Gotcha. Friendly gentleman <laughs> appeared from stage left, right? Walking like that, you know. So I, I said, Oh, I must. Be. Brian, yeah, I can shake your hands here. What, 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 what can I do? I said, Just a couple of questions, Brian. I said, There seems to be some serious irregularities with this so called summons here. What would that be? I said, Well, what's your job title, sir? At that point, right, the Olympics would be, he's got 100 yards sprint, gone. <laughs> that not one answer the question. I only speak to us, he's running, he's, I don't speak to, I only speak to us, I only speak to you. I'm an appointed, I'm a duly appointed special permanent attorney in fact, and by deed you've got a copy of it, you will speak to me. That time the door's banging behind him. He's live standing, you're pissed himself laughing. And the T4 security guards, G4 security guards are standing gobsmacked. And they go, what happened? So he said, yeah, funny that, and he asked me what job title is, don't want to tell you what the job title is. So uh, I've got a... Testament, witness testimony from my friend here, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Uh, what happened there? So he refused to answer the, the, the question. So, uh, and that's in breach of the Bangalore principles. For those who were here last week, we talked about the codes of conduct, which is where this case is going. The Bangalore principles talks about openness and frankness and you know, uh, uh, integrity. So, somebody asks you a job title. It's a pretty important question, isn't it? So, I still don't know who signed that. I still don't know who put that stamp on that page. Still don't, right? So I don't know who to take, who to the bond against, right? So I've written to the court. Sorry. But then the hearing date came up. So I could have dodged out of it. We could, we could, I uh, don't say too much on camera, we could have played on the fishes with that one, right? But we decided not to. I actually wanted disclosure. What I'm chasing is disclosure, because the more information I get, the more information I can pass to you guys, and the more information you've got to tell to go and take a fuck themselves, right? Uh, so this was about getting disclosure, and they know they know who I am. Trust me, they know who I am. And every time I walk in that court, I panic hits. Uh, my name's on lists. My, my picture's on lists. Never broke the law in my life. I have no, no criminal record. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm one of the good guys out there. There's nothing. I'm squeaky, absolutely squeaky clean, right? But my name's on these little watchboards, right? Uh, so anyway, so we went to court. My, my, my good lady was invited to court. I was to accept the invitation. That's fine. We're going there. So we're in there and... Uh, uh, basically told her, 
do not keep joining with the judge. Just walk in there. He says, what's your name? Just say allegedly. Use the word allegedly. You can stand by that. We can prove it. I'm happy to go and court and defend that. Do not keep joining with them. That's what they want. So anyway, we entered the court and uh, escorted into the building by 12 burly policemen, armed with the mace sprays and the uh, you know. And they look at the sheepish these guys. That's the third time they've been in that court over stupid little civil matters. You know, just doing the court thing, being escorted in by the, 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 the police with the armed response unit. This time, this time we're racing up to park around the corner. First time they're actually standing in the courtroom with us. The last, night, the last time they stood, they went, they went in a separate room next to the court. This time they, they just cut the courtesy to park around the corner. Uh, and what they did was uh, we had had gone public saying that we were going to go in this as free men. Right? Switch and bait. Do the tricks against them. They have got a thing called the free man uh, pro it's a protocol of dealing with free men. Right? That's on the website. I posted it as a file. Please read it. Uh, so I knew how they were going to react. Idiots have gave us the, the, the clues to how they're going to react. Fine, okay. Uh, we went in purely under human rights. Right? So this went into a court case. We went into a, a hearing, right, challenging the fact that, that oh yeah, I'm going back and I'm going to get back to head a little bit but anyway. So we're going into purely in human rights, uh, based upon the fact that you can't be held, uh, you can't be compelled to belong into an association contract. Uh, you can't be doing this. So we're in a whole raft of things, right? And uh, the judge, what's your name? What's your name? So she says, Mrs. Blah blah blah. Allegedly, blah blah. blah. What's your name? Three times. Allegedly, the best time you can see starting to go red, you know. The room was filled with suits and briefcases. It was a small room, it was like a broom cupboard because they didn't want any witnesses in there, they didn't want any free men witnesses in there. So, instead of in the big public gallery, it was literally a broom cupboard, you know, with a they'd actually take the crown off the wall as well, interestingly. Uh, but the, the sorry, uh, I've no idea who these people were in briefcases and suits, no idea who they were. So, I just walked in, two, two, two or three burly cops standing around about me. Make sure we going to make a rush to the front to arrest this poor, innocent judge, you know. No intention of doing that. We're going to need human rights. So uh, at that point she says, excuse me sir, she says I'd like my special attorney in fact to represent me here because I'd, I'd submitted a, a request to the, the court, the court building, the day before for my uh, good lady to be represented uh, by me. She signed it, she, she agreed, it's her document, uh, because I went through human rights stuff, tick, 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 tick box of human rights, tick, 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 tick. She needed replaced. She's foreign. I think she isn't a first language. She doesn't speak legalese. She lives. She grew up in a communist realm where she's subject to sorry, uh, terrified of authority. Where she's faced with with aggressive authority figures. It puts her in fear. Uh, this is all fact, by the way. Uh, blah 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 blah. And uh, so the judge says, I don't care. So she's right. Okay. So uh, she says, but my language isn't that good. I consider this is after 20 seconds speaking to her. I consider your English to be sufficient for this court. I started laughing at the back, right? A few of the guys in the suits went, oh, at that point. You know what he's just done, don't you? Human rights. Mm -hmm. It says it quite clearly every human rights talk, you cannot just keep discriminating someone based upon the language. That's exactly what he's done. I have nailed him, absolutely nailed him with that. I've come for you. Uh, you arrogant shit. Right? How dare you take my wife on? How dare you speak to my wife like that? Right? It is the job top solicitor. As you're about to find out, one is going to be facing a big court claim. So anyway, uh, so that that was the essence of that. So at that point he goes, non-appearance, Mark that down as a non-appearance. Guess who's the court clerk? Mr. Brian Hartley, who'd already submitted a complaint about, right? And put a notice, it was a complaint coming in against him, right? For impartiality, the lack of independence, blah, blah, blah. He's sitting as a court clerk in the hearing, I'm going to ask any better. And they give me, they give me presents here. It's Christmas is landing, so anyway, so uh, non appearance, non appearance. So he was like, yeah, I'm non appearance, right? Okay, so I still have Excuse me, so the only person that hasn't, the only, the only party that hasn't appeared here is the complainant because uh, I'd written to Brian Hartley, Esquire, prior to the, the hearing, asking him some simple questions, uh, three pages of simple questions, advised what I had, which I have written a formal complaint through to the Lord Chancellor. Uh, regarding his uh, his conduct and advising Lord Chancellor that appears as that there's a there's some sort of criminal activity taking place under his watch. He's responsible for it. His office is responsible for the uh, HMCTS, the Manchester Court and Tribunal Service. And if you read the HMCTS CTS framework document, which of course is on the Freedom Northwest website, please read that. It states quite clearly that the Lord Chancellor is responsible for the, for uh, uh, ensuring the independent <coughs> independence. Of the judiciary. Okay, he's a responsible man. I like responsible men and women. Like them. 
right? Because uh, nobody in the out there. So he's essentially responsible for it. And I found that somewhere within his organisation, this this some skullduggery taking place. I'm, I feel obliged to assist the, to assist the judiciary here, to assist, to assist the HMCTS, to let them know that there's some skullduggery taking place here, sir, and you need to be looking into this. It's, this looks to me there's, there's some sort of criminal activity, and I don't really want to come with you with a claim, but, you know, your office, but it looks like you might have to do that, you know, so uh, to, you need to take attention of it now. So uh, I'd written to Mr. Mr. Brian Hartley, letting him know this. Uh, so what he's done, obviously, he's tried to uh, get his, his mate in to be the judge and try to shut us up. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, uh, so that's a letter I go back from them, from Brian Hartley, just prior to the court hearing. Uh, Non-payment of council tax. He's not written to moi as a special attorney. In fact, he's written to a madam, whoever the madam is. But I presume he's talking. To he thinks he's talking to the principal. Non-payment of council tax. I acknowledge receipt of your photocopy letter. It wasn't a photocopy. Dated 17.05.12 regarding the above summons, I enclose copy complaint in the matter that explains this application for summons to be issued. I enclose copy complaint in the matter that explains the application for summons to be issued. I'd ask for a copy of the complaint. How many of you people are challenging council tax to ask for a copy of the complaint? What do you defend yourself against? If you haven't got a copy of the complaint, what do you defend yourself against? Okay. Ask for a copy of the complaint. And uh, anyway, so uh, uh, the justices, the justices clerk rules 2005, which are posted on the website, you can put on the on the internet, give the authority for a justices clerk to sign a complaint, and his authority is given to me by his delegated powers. Let me read that again. Maybe he's presenting himself as a justice clerk in the, the summons, right? Read that again. It took me a bit. I still don't know full understand what he's saying here, which tells me. He's playing here. The Justice's Clerk Rules 2005 give the authority for a Justice's Clerk to sign a complaint and his authority is given to me by his delegated powers. So what are you? That, that, you tell me you're an assistant Justice Clerk now. <coughs> he's that's been given he's to me by his delegated That's what he's saying. Yeah. So in that case, that's out and out fraud. Because an assistant Justice Clerk, if you're not aware of it, is a separate entity, recognised as a separate legal entity, has his own code of conduct, it's, 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 it's a separate legal entity. He cannot sign as a Justice Clerk. He'd have to sign as an Assistant Justice Clerk. He's, he's intended to sign as Assistant Justice Clerk. So why has he put Justice Clerk down? What? I've got to ask the question, who do you work for? I'm asking a question, well, who the hell do you work for? So who, who actually, still, it's still who's signed, who stamped these documents. So it looks like he's an Assistant Justice Clerk, now authorised the Council to sign the documents. So I still don't know who's, who's stamping his body documents and why they're stamping his document as a, as a justice clerk. Is it possible they're just not aware of that? Sorry? Not being educated to that level. I don't give a shit, they're breaking the law, mate, that's probably. But he's actually quoting that and he's just the act. He's quoting yeah. it. There may be a mistake there, I hope there is a mistake. I really hope there is a mistake. If there's no mistake, it's criminal. Well, what was that about delegation, Kyle? A, 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 a justice clerk can authorise, he doesn't delegate anything. He authorises, look at the fucking dictionary you created. A justice clerk authorises an assistant justice clerk, and that just, assistant justice clerk stands under the bond of the justice clerk. You understand that? Yeah, you're with me, right? So, but they're two separate legal entities with different codes of practice. There's the, there's the, the, the codes of practice that identify them both separately, they've got different powers. Right, which is why I put that in that, that question there, right? So he's saying, one document is a Justice Clerk, on there he's saying he's an Assistant Justice Clerk and he's signed a legal team manager. Hence when we went to the court building, who the fuck are you? Maybe he's got all three jobs. Fuck me, are you calling yourself yeah, Prime Minister yeah, next? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he can't do that. He can't be Justice Clerk and Assistant Justice Clerk. He can't Maybe he's not sold his employees though. Well, I'll let the investigation oh, right. take that and work that one out. I certainly have no, I've, I've no success at all myself. Uh, Anyway, it's a good news on that one. So, this is the complaint. You want to laugh? Do you really want to laugh, right? I'm expecting some fancy talks, right? You know, and blah, 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 right? <laughs> no letter in the box. No letterhead. No letterhead. No numbers. No. Nothing. What is that? I think a five year old scribble around his bedroom at 12 o'clock on a Sunday night. I don't know what that is. Right? It's easy to get the name of the court wrong. Lee and Wigan Magistrates Court. 
especially wheat lawyer and wheat. If you can get the court name wrong. I mean, you talk about negligence and incompetence, guys, that's the complaint that we're getting dragged into, well, the principal's getting dragged into this, this administrative hearing for. I will call it for it as the administrative hearing, right? And it says, complaint for non-payment of council tax in a box. For those of you who understand that. Uh, the Council Tax Administration Enforcement Regulations, 1992, Section 34 and 53, so they've even changed, they've, they changed the citation for the, 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 the summons. The summons only cite Section 34, not 53, so they've even changed the citation. And the complaint is wrong, because it's not for, we've not, the principal's never agreed, never said she's not going to pay. She said, I'll pay, well, it's just the amount we're questioning, not the actual, you know, uh, we've not at this stage, we've not, quite, we've not queried, because we haven't got enough information yet, to query whether we're not looking at all, as will we. Uh, and then it says, the complaint of, and this is where it gets really interesting, in capital letters, guys, right, is the object, isn't it? I remember I went over this previously. If it's in capital letters, it's a legal object. Right? That's why the, when you're driving license, your name is in capital letters, your legal object name, right? And they've written, the complaint of the Wigan Borough Council. There is no entity called the Wigan Borough Council. But I thought they were called Wigan Metropolitan Borough Council or Wigan Council. Is the the in capital yes. as well? Is it really? It's yeah. Well, that's not a mistake. Maybe they're shouting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, how where that comes from, the letter I sent Brian Hartley, which was us recording this, I'd asked him, sir, I, I just wanted a little, f I know a lot more than you think you know, right? Well, I just wanted a little warning shot across his bows to make his back stay twitchy. But I wanted him to lose sleep soon as we had, um, um, the principal, not really has, but, you know, I wanted, I wanted him to lose sleep. Because uh, I said to him, sir, have you satisfied yourself as the authenticity and standing of the billing authority? So at that point, he's went, uh, I'm presuming this point, this is me. And imagine there's, there's, there's another world out there where this, this case might be happening, right? I'm not suggesting for Mr. Brian Hart who dare do such a criminal endeavour as producing a legal doc in hindsight after the event. I would for one minute suggest he's done that, right? Uh, I've asked the court for a copy of that digital document with a copy of when it was produced. How do you do it now? Yeah. Uh, I want a date and a time on it. If I find out it was after the 23rd of May, someone's going to jail. <laughs> so the signature, signature. So the signature, somebody signed it, signed as the authorised officer for on behalf of the Wigan Borough Council. What yeah. they've done is, they've gone to the stupid constitution of Wigan Council. Not doing me, that's a private company. I don't know, fuck it, I see a fucking constitution. Enjoy yourself, guys. Right? Not doing me, but I, went, I actually went through and read the thing. Most people don't. And it says in there, the Wigan Borough Council, blah, blah, blah. The Wigan Borough Council, right? So some cretin who created this. What's happened? I can see from this, all the senior guys went, fuck, 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 this is ready to blow. Get him, you, yeah, we'll promote you for the day. You produce these complaints, right? So we can promote you some cretin to produce this complaint. Because that tells you the guys know what they're doing. They've stood by. Some 16 year old. They've actually really stood back. This is my presumption. <laughs> and I'm going to say for one minute, this is fact at the moment. I'm sure an investigation will find it out. Uh, uh, as a commercial entity, might one just be in trading then? That's not registered and done in Bradstreet. The Wigan Borough Council doesn't exist. I've done credit searches for it. That entity does not exist. Fact. Doesn't exist, right? Unless it's a private trust. It's not registered. <coughs> Unless it's a, a non registered private trust. <coughs> uh, certainly, money. if it's a non registered private trust, not paying council tax. We do collecting tax. You're a non registered private trust. Anyway, or a sole trader. Anyway, but. So. Uh, it's, so there's no name there. It's presumed somebody called A. Hughes. Oh, we'd like to meet them with that A. Hughes, right? That name comes up again later on. Uh, signed as authorised officer for on behalf of the Wigan Borough Council, right? Okay. And taken vote for me, B. Hartley Clark to the Justices now. Now, Justice Clark is the same as Justice Clark. A Justices, a Clark to the Justices, as far as I'm aware, is the same as a, a Justice Clark. So it's just terminology. Uh, he stroked out Justice of the Peace. Right, uh, there is no head on that. There's no number, nothing. That is just shit. Right, that's, that's just lazy. That's what they're dragging people to court with. Shit like that, right? Now, more importantly, it does say the complaint of the Wigan Borough Council, the billing authority, which states that the persons named in the schedules, the persons named in the schedules attached here to, or schedules attached here to being assessed as liable to pay council tax as shown in the schedules mentioned, has or have not paid to the Wigan, the Wigan Borough Council 
the said sums being the balance on data shown opposite. That's a bulk complaint. Right? Uh, so does that mean every single person taking that complaint now is going to need to go back to sort of lean Wigan Magistrates Court over there to go back to the court now and say you incompetent negligent shits. I want you I want damages for this. They, are, they don't exist, the Wigan Borough Council doesn't exist. The court has accepted a complaint from an entity who doesn't even exist. How more negligent do you get than that? You expect better you expect more from your courts, don't you? You really do expect better than that from your magistrate's courts. <coughs> that shows you the magistrate's courts are not involved here. That shows you the magistrate's court are not involved here, it shows you something else happening here. Right? Very cosy, very uh, uh, tidy relationship. And you remember I ran briefly over the codes of conduct last week and the Bangalore principles, which talk about integrity and separateness and you know, independence and honesty and all the, all the good shit, right? Where is it? Where is it? it doesn't exist, right? So anyway, uh, I then wrote to the court manager because uh, the procedures are Justice Clark, fair, fair information, right, is, a dual, is a dual character. He's not one single entity. Did you put the question in there? Uh, Justice Clark has got two hats, right? One is he's got a legal side, and one is he's got a judicial side. Uh, he's on one hand, uh, looks like he's an employee of H I put an employee of HMCTS. That's one bond. And the other side is also a judicial officer, answerable to the Lord Chancellor or somewhere, right? Uh, two different roles. Do not confuse it. Don't go for the wrong one. I'm in the process of finding which one to go for, or both to go for at the moment. And this is going to be bulletproof the, the, the claim against them. Going to be bulletproof. But anyway, uh, so where are that dual role of these characters? Now, most of them do have dual roles. Same with the council, right? Uh, the council have got these executive officers, director of bullshit services, you know, and executive associate, bland team leader of in kicking people about the place, right? They're private. They're all private. Not one of them is a public title. It's chancellor, that's right, uh, uh, surveyor. You know, accountant, these are all these are public tables from the councils. Uh, 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 there's, there's a few of them. Mayor, there's another one as well. Uh, these are all public offices, they're empty in the council. But they've got, and what they've done is they've created a, a parallel private entity which mirrors it. And uh, so, anyway, that's another discussion for another day. We've got a lot of people looking into that at the moment. And uh, a lot of uh, people in very, very high places, very concerned what's happening in our councils. It looks like they've all been privatised. Right? Uh, I'm happy to state to my satisfaction, Wigan Council is now a private company. Is it, yeah, is it the case that the capital, because uh, why have they not put that on there? Because they're, they're, they're just not. Because they're just a contractor. What they do is they send a the background, the thinnest veneer of public. I mean, it's like, you know, thinnest veneer of public. Uh, it's all. It's all it's just corporate suits. Looks like it's capital, sitting behind the scenes. Uh, you know, there's other outfits in the background as well, <coughs> and there's even bigger companies involved. This is all over the UK. This isn't just Wigan. This is all over the UK. Uh, you don't have to dig deep. You really don't have to dig deep. Absolutely. Five minutes on internet, you'll be looking. You'll be going. Just, just type in the name of it. Capita, Serco, you know, G4. And type in the name of a police, a police department or a council. <coughs> you know, uh, they've, they've been trying to cover their tracks, but they've got to the point now where they cannot cover their tracks anymore. That they, they, they can't. It's, it's coming out. It's creaking at the seams. And when it breaks open, people will suddenly be aware of the scam that's taking place. But they try to cement their position, as from my understanding, before this does, does break. That could work. Right, so anyway, uh, so I wrote back to the court manager. I found from the, from the, from the legal side, uh, as an employee of HMCTS, there's a process to go through. I don't really like processes, but I thought I'd have a bit of fun with this. At the end of the day, the one who's responsible for the, the conduct of that justice's clerk or legal team leader, or whatever, right? Assistant Justice Clark, as an employee of HMCTS, as the court manager. Of course, you were negligent in monitoring who this guy is. You were negligent. So, I'm coming for you. Well, on behalf of the principal, we're coming for you. So, we're setting a pre notice of complaint, uh, warning short across the bows, uh, setting through some fairly tasty information I've got. I just think of a little case of about 20% of what we've got. Because I've written to her as a the special attorney, in fact, for the principal. If she's, she's just trying to dodge a bullet at this point, trying to give me your offer back, you know. So what she said is, uh, I do not recognise you as a man of legal standing. I will not engage in any further communications or dialogue with you. Remember all the Universal Declaration of Human Rights last week? All the equal before the law. Apparently it should be redrafted. All the equal before the law except the Wigan Magistrates Court. 
Yeah. Unless uh, the court manager, Paul, or whatever name is, says otherwise. Right. So she's now higher authority in the nations. Good luck with that one, darling. Right. Uh, I've also got you now for, for breach of human rights. So, uh, as you see what's happening now, we've got them back in a situation, they're tripping over each other now, they're all finger pointing, tripping over each other. And interestingly, that was last year's alleged council tax bill to the alleged person, allegedly the principal. Right, uh, just to see the new one. Oh, 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 oh. So just to see the new one. Again, letter attached to it. Please make payment to customer service. Or please ring our customer services team to set up your direct debit. Blah blah blah. So customer on there, citizen on there. Again, what's missing from that? Crown. Do you notice the justice clerk name's changed? <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm finding it white at the moment. I'm finding it white. Uh, I'll give him I think he's still in the toilet wiping his backside, right? crapping himself. Right. And uh, no offence to the ladies in the room, right? That looks like a very girly signature. It looks extremely girly, curly. It's got an acceptable of hat on top of it, let's be honest, right? And that tells me that they've got some young graduate in. You know, the senior guys have taken out, or the men and women have taken a back step. I had to read that from the signature, you know, but at least they've got some youngster in it, does another job in the book. Oh, promote you for this one here, yeah, another promotion for you. Uh, so, uh, K. K. M. K. Mitchell looks like, Justice Clark. We're oh, meeting soon. Okay. Uh, so, you, you get to know my name. So, uh, anyway, so. Uh, just to, just to identify myself, I'm, I'm, I'm open. Unlike these guys, I'm happy giving my, my, my natural name. I'm Rob of Clan Lennox. Uh, member of the family is the greatest, is the fundamental unit of society. Universal Declaration. Rob of Clan Lennox, that's my fundamental society, that's what I'm protecting. Okay, no free money, <coughs> no free money stuff, that's, that's universal, that's, that's my, uh, my authority. Uh, so, anyway, so that's, that's where it stands. So, uh, that's where we are at the moment. So, we're a partner, we're in court on the 8th of. Uh, August 2012 and at 13.45, so this time they're not going to bring us in with the criminal guys that they did last time, all the armed fucking Nazis, uh, policemen there, uh, they're going to bring us in with the rest of the council tax people. I'll write a letter and that day will be changed. One letter and that day will be changed. So I'm going to write the same letter back to her. I can't really can't go to but it's like, oh God, it's like the little ducks laying themselves up to them, taken out. But so I'll write a letter back, the same thing, where's your authority, where's your building authority, we're at Wigan, Wigan Council is not the, it's not the, uh, the, 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 the registered billing authority, they'll claim on me, this is fraud, who are citizen support services, who the fuck are you and your system? <coughs> same letter I'll send through to again, you know, so, be ready. So essentially that's the state, that's the stage we're at now, where we're going to next is a criminal complaint going through the police. Now I've got a lot of information still coming back, I still do I've got, I've got enough information to put a criminal complaint in now. I want this to be rock solid. Because you know that the police and the councils, the bodies, let's say as a cosy relationship there. If the, police, if, the, if the councils and the courts are in each other's pockets, I've no doubt that the, the police, even though they're described as an at arm's length body, uh, I know they're not. I think we all know the police and the councils work together. I mean, so Roger Hayes has certainly found out, you know, you've found out, you know. Uh, please take orders from the council. Police and councils are just ask cases. Well, that's, yeah, that's your opinion, sir. Yeah, you're entitled to it. <laughs> right. So, uh, but certainly, uh, so I don't want, I want to give the, room, the police as little room as I, as I can that they can try and wiggle out of this as a criminal compl complaint going through uh, against uh, the entity known as Wigan Council for fraud. Well, what the evidence says, black and white. I've got other stuff as well. The evidence is here, black and white, right? They're two separate trading entities, right? One is not a billing authority. Interestingly, I wrote to the local government association. Asked him the question, who's the billing authority for the Wigan area? Uh, yeah, so you'd think that they would know who the billing authority was, wouldn't you? You would think that, wouldn't you? The local, local, local government authority. So they actually backpedaled the letter, actually, well, nothing to do with us, nothing to do with us. And I got them on letter, it's like, you know, it's, you know, somebody could say, whoa, no, no, this is the letter I got back from them. Like, Why are they backpedaling from that question? Sure, it's a straightforward question. Who, 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 who's, who's the billing authority, who are they authorised by, and where's the register so I can, I can inspect it. I also wrote to the Valuation Tribunal, who's the billing authority, and it's on your website, you've got a drop down list, where did you get the information from? Nothing to do with us, nothing to do with us, we don't know, I know nothing, I know nothing. 
Why does nobody know anything? They're threatening people and taking them to court. Why, why can't nobody tell me? The two agencies you think would be able to tell you this, who the billing authority is. So, as I say, I've got FOIs out there, I've got letters out there, I'm waiting for information to come back. And uh, so there's a criminal complaint going to the police against the council, there's a criminal complaint going to, going to the police against the HMCTS, Wigan the Magistrates Court, right, itself. There's going to be a criminal complaint going against the court manager of Wigan Lee Magistrates Magistrate, Wigan Lee Magistrates Court. Uh, there's going to be private claims going against every bug involved in this for negligence, gross negligence, in some cases criminal negligence. There's going to be uh, misrepresentation. I'm going to have a field day with this. Thank you very much. I need a new car. Uh, and, uh, the, uh, the, so the, there's, there's, a, there's a lot in the back of this. I've got a really good team. It's not just me. I've got a, a pretty good A team in the background here. We're putting together the, how we proceed with this. And this will set a template for everyone else to follow behind us. This, this is going to be a template for pretty much everyone else to use. This Justice's Clarks is the weakness. It is the weakness. They're very, very, very exposed at that point. They are, and uh, all of them now, they cover their backsides. So they're in so deep now, they can't just backpedal. They are stuck in there. So what they're doing is, as they tried to do with uh, myself and the principal in court, uh, tried to bully us, tried to harass us. And, uh, uh, so this is this is the more information gathering, which as soon as we get, is coming to you guys, right? I did offer the court manager and a nice letter I sent to her, advise her about the Lord Chancellor, and uh, also said to us, surely you now have an obligation and a duty under your code of practice and under the Bangalore principles. Now there's all these people on this bulk complaint, so surely you have a duty now to contact every one of those people individually. Apologise of gross negligence of an individual and uh, make restitution for the, the damage you may have caused them. Price for sending to a complaint with no, it doesn't exist in the complaint and it doesn't exist. <coughs> uh, and I say, this is understand that this is of the essence, so if it's any, any, uh, any uh, of any uh, interest to yourself, I can have 20,000 leaflets printed off in the people's front doors in two days. Right. Uh, I'm not interested in this because for private reasons. I don't wish to the council tax. We really don't care. Don't care about it. We're interested. There's a fraud taking place here. And there's a lot of stuff getting, getting passed under the umbrella of council tax. It isn't council tax. And council tax, if you actually go to the evaluation tribunal website, there's nothing to do with the services provided to you by a council. It's actually a personal and uh, uh, land, pro uh, sorry, property tax. It's a personal property tax. So why are they hiding? Why do they just put it down as an extra tax on his personal property tax? Why is doing this honest about it? Why are they pretending it's to do with services? Because I tell people this and they go, yeah, but who's going to pay for the bins to get cleaned? Well, you're fucking not. You're paying for everyone else except that. You don't know who you're paying. You don't know where your money's going to. Genuinely, you don't know where that money's going to. There's a whole lot of <coughs> financial shenanigans going on, which we're looking into, and we're getting some really, really good stuff out of that. Uh, there's, uh, as I say, so there's, there's, there's a lot of, there's, there's, they're, playing, they're playing clever games of commerce, but don't forget, the bottom of the bottom line is, <coughs> that was a guy, I can't remember now, maybe somebody else, yeah. I mean, some guy who killed himself, yeah. 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 ended up talking himself, an inventor, invented some great things, you know, real man, you know, a positive, positive force for Britain, you know, this is what makes us proud, it makes, makes us great, he ends up topping himself because the council tax is um, just consistent, constant harassment and stress and, 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 and fear. He ended up killing himself. Where was his human rights? Where was his fundamental freedoms? Did he take a back step now to uh, uh, commercial interests of private companies? Looks that way, doesn't it? So uh, I don't treat this as a game. These guys with little suits going to work in 85 and thinking it's a game, you know, I'll show him who the boss is. <laughs> you know, I will not deal with you, I'm not a legal person. You will fucking deal with me because there's people that are killing themselves. And uh, I do not lose sight of the fact that people are actually hurting, really, really hurting. And I really, really take it all out. I have no problem paying for the services we're providing. No problem at all. Now, as in principle, we have no problem at all paying for services provided. As long as a fair rate and you know, the service is reasonably, reasonably efficient for the public sector. That's, they must be accounted to us. That's one of the prerequisites. At the moment, it doesn't appear they are, because they're doing their own thing. And, uh, uh, but I saw the stuff, the other stuff, they chuck in. So once they built that, 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 that structure whereby they can come in and beat us up to take money off us, right, which is fine, that's, you know, that, that, that's understandable. But then what they do is they start chucking more and more and more and more and more other things in there under this umbrella of council tax or local taxation. 
let's stop going to council tax. Uh, local taxation now. Uh, so they're putting a lot more and more and more on the umbrella of local taxation. So if now you've got somebody holding a gun to your head, quite literally holding a gun to your head, right, give us money to go and fund the bankers' bailouts. Give us money to go and fund our sheer fucking incompetence managing the finances of this borough. Right? They should have been sacked, not rewarded. Why are we paying for it? Why, why am I paying for somebody who can't do his job properly? Why, why is the principal pay? Why are any of you guys paying for somebody who can't do his bloody job? I saw this, I, I saw this crash coming in 2002. Don't you guys, this was going to happen in 2002. It was obvious. I actually thought it was going to happen in 2006. I saw it coming. People in the council, they these highly paid supposed experts in bloody finance, oh, took them by surprise. Bollocks, they're taken by surprise, right? That's costing us money. They screwed up. Sheer, utter, criminal neglect, uh, neglect of duty that was, right? Why are we picking up a tap for it? Okay, that's what you're doing. Uh, same with the government. Uh, there's a freedom of information request set by, set by my friend uh, Pete Cooney over in Liverpool and they asked a simple question, who owns the national debt? And uh, the reply that came back was that this is from the, the Treasury, the national debt is not owned by the public, it's owned by the government. They're a corporation, they're a separate corporation. So part of the reply we get back, well, that's their debt, national debt. Bother it to do with me. Well, they, they can pay it, deduct that from the council tax. And deduct any money for war, and deduct any other, deduct, 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 you know. Trying to take the stuff for you, we'll get any of those extras. Uh, and, because uh, this isn't our debt, and uh, the definition of serf is someone who serves as a debt, so his master. Right, we're not, we're not his servants. Nobody's established that yet, there's, there's no, there's a presumption taking place here. There's a voluntary issue here, and an involuntary issue. Involuntary servitude is a step down from slavery, and it's condemned across human rights. Completely, utterly condemned, right. So if they're saying you must give us that money to serve a national debt, sorry, start calling me serf. Stop calling me Mr. or Mrs. or the principal or whatever. Just start calling me serf. You know, so that, that's, that's as plain as that. They don't, they don't leave really replying letters to that because they just follow the little due process. And that's a weakness because they can only follow the process. They can't think. These people at the bottom don't know what's happening. The guys above them do. The further up they get, the more they do. The guys who are dealing with the bottom don't know what's happening. There's no point getting involved in the debates with them. They don't know what's happening. Don't, don't, don't the argue with your council tax department. It's right to the CEO, deal with the CEO. Make sure that person knows that they are going to be held personally accountable. Because everyone under their, 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 their uh, authority uh, 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 is their responsibility. Therefore, you go for them for negligence. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. The piglets in the field. Go for the mother. So, uh, father. Uh, so essentially, that, that's, that's where we are. So. Uh, uh, there's a lot of other interesting things happening with council tax somebody in the country. Trust me, this isn't going to last much longer. I, I, I think by the end of the year the council tax will have crashed. As I've, I've said, I've, I've intimated a few times, MPs are calling us a great scandal, waiting for it to blow. And if I can play our, myself and the principal, who's a very brave lady, by the way, I mean, really brave lady, uh, if, we can, uh, if we can play a little part in bring, bringing this down and bringing back some sort of judicial process to the UK, some sort of honesty, some sort of integrity. Remember the Bangalore principles were ran over? Integrity, honesty, dignity. If we bring back all these principles, that's all I'm asking for. No, no, no. Honesty. I mean, is, that, is, that, is that too much to ask for your people who are supposed to represent us? To ask the people who are supposedly looking after our finances? Just, just a touch of honesty. It doesn't exist. There's no integrity. There's no honesty with these guys. Genuinely isn't. So if I can play my little part in exposing the fraud for what it is, and bring back some we can we can trust in. You know, that's that's also I'm asking for here, you know. So as I say, it's not me, there's a lot of us under the country and we're scoring big with us. So uh, 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 keep at it, don't be scared to take these guys on. The justice is Clark, as far as I'm concerned, is the weakness. Okay? You take your own way, you'll do your own independent thing, do your own research, do your own work, you'll get your own information, you've got your own way of doing things, don't follow me. But as far as I'm concerned, the justice clerk's the weakness because you're going for the person that signs those documents. And if he signs those documents, he's well, his name's on it. So the person that signs those documents, well, there's three people implicated there. This was a signature alone. All person are negligent, they could be criminal. So if we can stop people signing these documents, too, too, too scared to sign these documents, because they're scared to sign the letters, somebody's forced to put a, a signature on that summons, though. So if we can go for the person signing that fraudulent summons, and take them out, the say next. Came over. Okay, so uh, 
get some nods at the back, so obviously some people don't think I'm okay. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's our approach, so it's just an uh, awkward bugger, just a complete awkward bugger, and uh, I'm not taking any little bullshit from him, I just don't think I don't like these guys, they're horrible, they're horrible people. We met him, he's not, he's not a very pleasant man, very arrogant individual, uh, looks down on us, what do you want? Sorry mate, I want your career. And the fact that Chase and Justice Clark's new one, the council tax uh, summons, that's alleged summons now, I could have already had it. So, uh, I'm sure there's an investigation underway now. And we're, when I can be bothered, really, we'll write back to the court, and we'll write your status in this process code. And I can be bothered. I spend a month now, silence. Nothing comes through the door, nothing dead. Other than that one letter saying, don't recognise your legal standing, because they know that somebody has to step forward now and sign a liability order. And as a letter already been sent to them, I dare someone to sign it. Okay? Because if you sign a liability order with it from a complaint, a summons based upon a complaint, with a complaint that didn't exist, it's just one small part of it. So, uh, listen, nobody's willing to sign a liability order, so go for it, guys. I dare you. Okay, so as I say, my name is Rob of Clan Lennox. Uh, these people recognise me now. I'm a special public attorney. A special attorney, in fact, uh, appointed under deep floor, the principal, the lady here. It was the love of my life, and I don't, I don't take it kindly. People start threatening her. And we all need to stand up for you. <laughs>